Hi, I'm Chris and I'm an engineer for BKAB Smart Homes. Today, we're going to take a look around one of our showrooms and show you why BKAB is the world's leading smart home solutions provider. BKAB Smart Home allows homeowners to control every aspect of their house via the control panel on the wall or via their smartphone or tablet. So, down here, we have an exact 3D representation of our living room. We can simply control a device simply by touching it. For example, the TV, turn off. Sound, music, turn on. Okay, also over here we can access the control panel from the wall and we can control the lighting, we can control the temperature, the atmospheric conditions, etc. Going back here, down we have some smart scenarios okay here we have the movie setting when we press this movie scenario selected as you can see the lights dim the curtains lower and the whole room is set ideal for your movie watching so we have a guest somebody comes around we want to stop this and revert back to guest scenario selected Here we have our central control panel. On this we can control some key features of our house, such as the lighting. Turn these back on. And here we have the atmospheric controls, such as the heating, the fan speed, the oxygen levels, etc. Down at the bottom, we have our four smart scenarios. So for example, we have movie mode. Movie scenario selected. Turns the lights off, the curtains down. And we can revert back. Get scenario selected. Really simply. So there's no limit to how many of these smart scenarios we can have. The top four are represented here. Another key feature from BKAB is the voice control. Now the voice activation command is fully customizable for your voice. For example, if I want to watch a movie, I say home, movie mode. Movie scenario selected. Okay, as you can see it's in movie mode now. I want to revert to our guest mode, so I say home, guest mode. Guest scenario selected and it reverts back. It really is that simple. Other features of the house can also be controlled by voice activation. For example, I want to turn off the TV, I say home, TV off. And there you go. Here we have our access control system. As you can see, we have a camera from our entranceway and if somebody comes to your door, we can speak to them. We can take a picture of who it is, or we can let them in. Now, all these features can be accessed remotely via your smartphone or tablet, pressing this here. And if you're away from the house, you can even let somebody in by pressing one of these buttons. If somebody calls to your house, you're in a meeting, it will send you a notification to your phone and can even take a picture to see who called and at what time. Using this 3D interface, we can travel through any room in the house. For example, let's go to the bedroom. Here we are in the bedroom. Like the living room, all features can be controlled via the tablet or the control panel on the wall. In the bedroom, we have specific features which match the bedroom setting. For example, we might have sleep mode. Sleep scenario selected. Now, these settings are fully customizable and can be set to activate at a certain time. So for example, you can wake up in the morning with your curtains open 
and playlists playing through your speakers. Let's look at some of the things used to control your smart home. Let's go over here and we have the outside part of our access control system. Okay, at the top we have our camera and below this we have ways we can access our house either via a pin code, a card or your fingerprint. Okay, moving on, we have our central control panel. This is CNC made by a single piece of aluminium and faced with Gorilla Glass. That's the same scratch resistant glass used on high-end smartphones. Here, we have a smaller version of the central control panel. Now this is just for use to, uh, to simply control things like lights and curtains. Okay, moving on. Here we have our motion detector sensor. Okay, so this uses infrared to detect motion and activate things like lights and also it's used as part of your security system to detect any movement throughout your house. On the wall here, we have our security data receiver. This can receive data from all of your security settings throughout the house. For example, the infrared sensor. It can also receive data from your windows. If a window is broken, it can activate an alarm using this box. Also, it can receive information about atmospheric controls, which can be used as part of a fire detection system. We have bathroom features over here. Okay, we have our urinal. We have taps and our hand dryer. Okay, moving on over here. Okay, down here we have some devices. On the left, we have our atmospheric control sensor. This can sense changes in oxygen levels, temperature and humidity, and sends this data back to the central computer, which will then adjust these levels back to the temperature that you require. On the right, we have our range extender. So for a large house, we need to use these to control devices further away from the central computer. Okay, let's see how this system works. Smart Home uses Zigbee signals to communicate between devices. If we look down here, we have three small boxes. This controls your whole system. On the right, we have the Zigbee uh, transmitter and receiver. This receives data from your devices of their status and can transmit data back to them to change their status. So basically turn on and off your TV, change the lighting settings, change the atmospheric settings. All these things here can be controlled using this. Now the box in the middle, this is your Wi-Fi Zigbee converter. It converts Wi-Fi to Zigbee and vice versa, which basically allows your tablet or smartphone to communicate with this system. Now the box on the right is your central processor. This simply processes all this data and keeps the system running. As you can see, we just use these three boxes to control the whole system of your house. There's no need for any large electrical box to be implemented and wiring is really kept to a minimal to avoid any clutter. Now, to implement this system into your house, there's no need for expensive renovations or to rip out the wiring in your walls. Basically, it uses the existing electrical wiring installed in your house already. So, the renovation costs are kept to a very bare minimum to implement it. And it also means that this system is modular. So, if you want to expand to more rooms or throughout your house at a later date, it's pretty easy to implement this system. Okay, well thanks for coming on this tour today. I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye.